Do you like stabbing little people to death until they die of blood loss and do you also play Elden Ring? Then the Reduvia dagger might be for you. In this video, I'll show you what they can do. Reduvia is a short range slashing and piercing dagger that applies the bleeding effect to a target. When an enemy's bleeding threshold is passed, they will lose HP based on their max health. So that can range from not fantastic to holy shit my man's got his first period. Because of the short range, but large damage potential, it's best used to quickly dispose of single targets, preferably by backstabbing unsuspecting dumb shits. Haha, <laughs> sit down, oh fuck. From Software did an amazing job balancing this weapon because the bleed effect is really strong, but it can only be applied from very short distances. Just kidding, you have a special attack that does arcane based damage and also applies bleeding. Wielding the Reduvia requires 5 strength, 13 dexterity and 13 arcane. It has an E scaling for strength, D for dex and C for arcane. It's a hefty boy, weighing in at 2.5. Upgrading the Reduvia dagger can be done with summer smithing zones. Upgrading to plus 7 will increase your dex scaling to C and upgrading to plus 8 will increase the arcane scaling to B. The max upgrade is plus 10. The Reduvia dagger can essentially be acquired at the start of the game. It's a reward from killing bloody finger Narius, which is by far the funniest name I've ever heard for an NPC. If you want to dual wield it, you can do so, but you'll need to create a new character, summon a friend, drop the dagger for your friend and have your friend drop the dagger for your original character. The hardest part of this step is having a friend. Now for the moveset. The attacks are generally very fast and can be combo to apply the bleeding effect. If you're feeling like a cheeky little scrub, you can throw in a few L2s to apply the bleeding effect from afar. Reduvia is a dagger, so it can be wielded alongside another dagger for a special moveset. The best practice with this setup is just to spam the shit out of L1 so you can speedrun the bleeding effect. The worst practice is to press L1 while sneaking or right after dodging because the attack animation takes a long time and it will do just a little tickle. What makes the Reduvia so special is the large damage output, the bleeding effect that can be applied insanely fast and the aesthetic. It's also a weapon that can be acquired early on. The downside of this weapon is the lackluster range, so don't think you're going to do well on horseback. Also, this weapon cannot be buffed and it will not perform well against enemies with bleed resistance. I rate 6.9 out of 4.20. Very solid weapon, but not a